I was thinking about this song that we're about to sing called Reckless Love. And I know maybe to some people, they don't understand why it's called reckless. But when we think of his love in human terms, it does seem a little crazy that he would just chase after us even when we're not trying to seek him. Because I know for myself, when the Lord touched me for the first time, I was not looking for Him. And it was really a miraculous encounter because I couldn't have been farther from Christ at that time in my life. And when we think about the fact that He loves us even when we don't love Him, that's reckless. We don't do that. We don't love people when they don't love us back. That's not a, a human emotion to have towards someone who doesn't reciprocate it. And if we do, people might think we're crazy. Like, that doesn't make sense. How do you love that person even though they're harming you? How do you love that person even when they're running the opposite direction of you? But that's what he does for us. And so when we're singing these words, and I'm sure most of you have heard this song a hundred times, but just think about that. Think about the fact that He is chasing after you. He is running you down. He wants you so badly. Yes. And He just wants to yes. meet you in this place right now. He wants you to surrender. He wants you to just be in full abandon to His Holy Spirit. So I just want to invite the worshipers that want to lay things down at His feet this morning to come up to the front and to just enter into His sweet presence. And find your healing. Find your deliverance. Because He's there just waiting to hear from you this morning. You have been 
this morning. Just whatever song is on your heart, sing that to him this morning. Randy's just going to play these chords, and I just want you to lift your own song of praise to the Lord. Whatever it is, whatever you're carrying, just lay it all down on his feet. I can't tell you how many miracles he's worked in my life. And when I say these words, Lord, I'm amazed, I'm amazed by you.
In Psalms 150, the psalmist said, let everything that has breath praise the Lord. Amen. And sometimes as we're enjoying the service, and we're just absorbing, we're just absorbing the presence of God, which is a wonderful thing to do. Uh, we just kind of sit there and we don't open our mouth and say something. We don't sing out to the Lord. And I just felt encouraged today to just tell somebody this morning that the Lord wants to hear your voice. Amen. You are special and unique to the Lord. Yes. And he wants to hear you sing praises to Him. So we're going to play that one more time. This is the air I breathe. And I want to encourage you today to open your mouth and sing. And let the Lord hear your voice. And let's all put our voices together as a sweet sound into this atmosphere that will glorify and praise God. Would you help me do that today? How do you help me do that today? Come on. Yeah, yeah, let the Lord hear your voice. Let's sing it again. This is the air I breathe. This is the air I breathe. today and say, well, I know the Lord. I know you do, and He knows you do. But don't you need Him more today than ever before? I do. Come on, give the Lord a shout of praise. Amen. Amen and amen.